Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday, the 14th of November. It's a Remembrance Sunday. So at 11 a.m. today, people will be uh, not celebrating, I guess remembering at uh, the various war memorials around this country for uh, the soldiers that died in uh, various wars. We're walking down Bolton Road, just come off Worsley Road North, heading towards central Walkden. And I felt that uh, it would be nice to have a, a peaceful, laid-back 4K walking video just going down the hill to celebrate the fact that today my uh, one-week community strike YouTube ban expires at a quarter past six this evening. It's currently about 8.20 in the morning. And uh, if this were a weekday, this would be very busy. We pass Candy Retreat and Abdul's Kitchen. And my children love those little orange little thingies that glitter and glow and shake around. They're like, ooh, shiny, shiny. We are magpie children. We are magpie children. So, I, uh, I've been expanding what I watch on YouTube, getting ideas, getting inspiration. And the main bit of advice I have for myself um, after expanding my, uh, my view of what I view is that sometimes all we want is a kind of like uh, a kind of laid back talk radio type YouTube video where we're hanging out with the YouTuber. We're just hanging out like right now. You're coming for a walk with me, having a look around. Nothing can go wrong. Famous last words. And we walk along here. I'll tell you guys a story. Let's tell uh, some, some stories that don't raise any anxiety. So my closest supermarket is uh, Marks and Spencer Food Hall. And uh, I was like, wow, how posh. And uh, I, I shop in there quite often, especially when the kids are staying over. Because you get better quality stuff. It actually is better. But you, you, you get what you pay for. It is a little bit pricier. But we could all do with eating a bit less. So <laughs> buy better quality, just eat less. So um, I was buying some sirloin steaks in there. And I paid for it, obviously. And it beeped on the way out. So one of the staffers, she says, can I see your receipt? I said, sure, here, have a look at the receipt. And it shows, obviously, I'd paid, paid for my goods. And... Um, I said to her, maybe I was being a bit, I said, yeah, you can see the receipt, but you're not going through my personal belongings because I've paid for them now. They're mine. And um, her NPC mind, her Windows XP operating system crashed or was shut down. Do, 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 do. And she frowned. She scowled. She, um, <laughs> as soon as I said that, she kind of like held my receipt close to her chest. She's like, Ex excuse me? So I, I kind of carried on. I said, look, I... I I have friends who work in security. I know that uh, the BP BP at the door isn't uh, isn't enough to you know start going through people's bags as if they're a suspected shoplifter. And uh, she just stares at me. So I said, "Can I have my receipt back?" And then she starts going, "Hold on a second. And she starts stuttering, "Hold on a second. So I said, "The receipt is my my personal belonging as well. Can I have it?" And I'll leave. And then she says. She goes, well, I guess we'll just have to ban you from the store. And I said, Ex excuse me? And then I actually um, put my hand forward and gripped my receipt. She wasn't letting go, so I had to rip my receipt out of her hand. And I said, let's go and speak to the manager. And of course, the manager in Marks and Spencer's was a lot more understanding of the dignity of a customer who just spent £30, didn't want to have his... Uh, personal belongings searched through as if he's a suspected thief and you know it's one of those stories where I felt you know she asked to see the receipt I thought that's fair enough she'll see that there were stakes paid for on the receipts but that did not satisfy them so anyway we come up now to the Ellesmere shopping center the zombie shopping mall which is featured twice on my channel once about seven, eight years ago. 
and once about seven weeks ago. I uh, think this one's funny. I know that it's a maths and English tuition study centre, but they've misspelt come on. So how can you trust it to teach you English? Get some nice lights at this time in the morning, as I was saying yesterday in Piccadilly Gardens. During winter in the UK, golden hour is extended for many hours. You get this lovely sideways Helios light through the atmosphere. The reason why it's more golden in the evening is of course all the things in the atmosphere. The sun's not coming straight down through 12 miles of atmosphere or 20 miles of atmosphere. It's coming sideways through hundreds of miles of atmosphere. So it creates a nice effect. Golden sunsets. It's why the Japanese flag is a red sun. That's a rising sun. Very pagan, very symbolic, the rising sun. You see the imperial flag of Japan. It was uh, the rising sun with all those white and red rays coming off the sun. Again, very pagan. They love it. A bit of sunshine. You can totally see how uh, early man, or man up until not too long ago, would see the sun and the moon as kind of like a duality of gods, obviously. And uh, it's as good an explanation as a big ball of glass burning millions of miles away. How'd the gas get there? Why is it burning? Why is it compressed? Why does gravity pull within itself? Why does mind exist? Why am I self-aware? What is subjectivity? What came first? The mind or the material? Or was it the material or the mind? Or is mind is material? As the Upanishad says, Atman equals Brahman, which... Um, basically translates as the individual equals the main god, the main deity, the Zeus, the Zeus of uh, Indo-Aryan mythology is uh, Brahman, Brahman. Anyway, we're going to go for breakfast. Nothing like a, a cheap breakfast in the local weather spoons called the Bull's Head. And then we'll be set for the day. We're probably going to go into Manchester city centre. Get a little bit of a photonic interference on the sensor inside the Samsung. And then later on, we're probably going to pick up the kids, have the kids over, entertain the kids. And then when 6.15 hits, I can start doing my job again and uploading videos to you, Tube. YouTube. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed this little eight, nine minute walk down the hill into Walkden.